Here's the thing. I don't like poetry. Don't like reading it. Don't like writing it. I can't explain why. It's just not my thing. I just can't get into it. Shakespeare's plays, no problem. His sonnets, can't do it. Having said that, poetry has brought me the one and only writing award I have ever won. So come on in, take a seat, and I'll tell you the story. Back in my senior year of college at UMaine Farmington, I took a fiction writing class. I've taken many of these classes in high school and college. In this particular course, we studied three categories of fiction. Playwriting, where we had to write a one-act play, short story writing, and poetry. I don't recall what I did for the first two, but for the poetry section, I wrote two poems. One called Why, where I ask various philosophical questions, and the other was called Ode to Captain Kirk. The year was 1994, which happens to be the year I graduated college, and the movie Star Trek Generations had just come out. In the film, Captain Kirk dies. Well, that is to say, he dies as much as anyone dies in Star Trek. Listen, I don't want to see any spoiler alert complaints in the comments. It's a 30-year-old movie. If you didn't know that's what happened, by now, that's on you. Cut to 14 years later, 2008, and I'm reading the latest edition of Writer's Digest magazine. This includes an announcement that submissions are open for the 2008 Writer's Digest writing competition. It was their 77th such contest. There were many categories in the competition, from screenplays to novels to rhyming and non-rhyming poem. I didn't have any short stories or anything like that ready, nor did I have the time to create any, especially for this. At least, that's the way it was in my mind. But I did have my poems. So I typed them up, filled out the application, wrote the check, and sent the package in. I knew it would be a while before I heard anything, if there was anything to be heard. Then, a few months later, I got a flat envelope in the mail. It contained two pieces of paper. And when I opened the envelope, they really got me excited. I immediately framed them. And here they are. This is the certificate. My poem, Ode to Captain Kirk, won honorable mention in the rhyming poem category of that year's contest. And this is the letter that came with it. says, one of my most enjoyable tasks as an editor of Writer's Digest is passing along good news to writers. This is one of those occasions. It is my pleasure to tell you that your manuscript, Ode to Captain Kirk, has been awarded honorable mention in the rhyming poem category of the 77th Annual Writer's Digest Writing Competition. It closes your certificate of achievement to honor your accomplishment. This year's contest attracted over 17,000 entries. Your success in the face of such formidable competition speaks highly of your writing talent and should be a source of great pride as you continue in your writing career. I congratulate you again on your achievement and wish you the best of luck in your future writing. Respectfully, Maria Schneider, Editor, Writer's Digest. And 
So, what I did was I typed up on fancy paper the poem itself and added that to the collection. And all three of these things are, other than this moment, hang on my wall all together. And here's the poem. Ode to Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk, what a man, played as only Shatner can. Traveling the universe in the Enterprise, he was the apple of all the girls' eyes. With Spock, Bones, and the rest of the gang, sometimes even your horror sang. Then one day he entered the Nexus, where he was taken away from us. He died alone, as he knew he would, although Picard did all he could. When you join Starfleet, sometimes death is a perk. Long live Captain James Tiberius Kirk. So there it is. My least favorite form of writing has served me best in competition. Is that irony? Should I take a lesson from that? Comment below your experiences with poetry. Do you have any advice for me on how I could maybe enjoy it a little more? Check out this playlist for more random stuff. Thank you as always for watching, and please keep on reading.